Hey Spartan Racers, what's up? This is Justin here with Metal Lad Incorporated. Give us a like and subscribe. So, about five hours after we produced our last video detailing what you should know about Spartan Race Tahoe, the course map is finally here. Let's go ahead and get into it because there's a lot you need to know. Number one, um, the Tahoe course map is up for the Spartan Race World Championship happening in the Olympic Valley. And what do we know so far? Number one, there are six water stations. That's right, six of them with two hydration pack. And this is 33.2% max slope. On average, this is 11.3% slope. So that sounds fun. Imagine doing a treadmill without incline. That's, that, yeah. Mm. So today's, um, they released it officially that it's going to be the Super, the Beast, as well as the Ultra Beast. And then they released the course map. Yeah, so here's the obstacle guides. And the obstacle guides basically starts out with, oh, I don't know, um, the Hercules Hoist, which sounds simple. The inverted wall, oh yeah, obstacle number five is swim. It doesn't say exactly how long this swim is, but I promise you that this is one day you don't want to bring yourself because you gotta keep on moving. This is five out of 30 obstacles. Now, by looking at this course map, we know that there's a strong incline from the beginning that you get there all the way up. And so for mile three, straight through, and it peaks at mile five. And then the decline comes at mile five to mile eight. And then you're inclined again for mile 10 to 13. You might want to do leg day. So let's take a look, a deeper look at some of the obstacles that they have. For the exclusive ultra obstacles, they have at obstacle number 12, the farmer's lock carry, obstacle number 13, sandbag carry, and obstacle number 14, the 10, foot wall. Now sometimes they mix it up. It's like this one here. They have a beast and an ultra. Um, these are obstacles 30, 31, and 32. The Z walls. Their stairway to Spartan as well as the eight foot wall. And they encourage everyone to use hashtag SpartanWC2018 but they also tell you to take a photo of this stuff so you have the course map with you but if I have my swim that's actually on the obstacle I probably want to make sure my GoPro because my cell phone my new iPhone XM whatever it is XM squared I'm not bringing that with me because I just bought it and then I also just have common sense so make sure that you have a waterproof GoPro with you otherwise uh, bring a poncho or just spart it up anyways um, the swim is happening around Gold Coast. It says around there 7,990 feet. Hmm, that's fun. But nonetheless, um, that is your course map. It's currently up, and they posted that yesterday at 1 p.m. Good to good look, folks, because while you're up there, you're not really gonna remember the course map, but you do wanna know where to hydrate and where to fill in your cattle backs, as well as incline. So at the same time that they released the course map, there's also an athlete guide, which means that you know what to do from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, uh, long story short, you can start your briefing around 5 p.m. Um, yeah, just take a look at this athlete guide over here and get to know it a little bit. Anyway, on Saturday, the biggest thing to know is that from 6 to 9 p.m., stuff is going down. The 7.45 a.m. is when it all begins for the beast. And of course, Sunday, 6 a.m., Ultra Elite Wave begins. Good luck to everybody out there. As we mentioned on our previous videos, it's 30.5 miles for the Ultra Loop, um, four mile of a loop. And yeah, you're going to be among the best because you qualified for this event, you trained for this event, and now you're ready to go and do Tahoe. Now, of course, there's 15,000 uh, competitors that will be out there. So just go ahead and have fun, take a deep breath, relax, go ahead and enjoy Olympic Valley. You made the trip, this is the end of the road, basically the end of the season, the season's never really over, but you're here among the best of the best. I'm pulling for Ryan Atkins. You're probably pulling for, oh, I don't know, Kobe or Robert Killian. That's fine too. But I'm also going for Lipsy Webster. And I like those two because I actually met them at the Noram. So good luck, guys. Other than that, let me know what you guys think about the course map. Guess what? You won't believe this. Spartan Race finally is bringing back lunches. Apparently, if you volunteer, they put out this email today in the afternoon saying 100% off from now and uh, for Lake Tahoe and there afterward, you'll actually have a chance to volunteer and get a free race entry. Plus they're bringing back the fact that you can actually get yourself a lunch too. So peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly. Okay, 
One of the aspects of volunteering is learning how the obstacles get to go. When we volunteered in Sparta Race City Field, we helped build two obstacles, the Hercules Hoist, the Spartan Spear Throw, and we even did a little bit of taping for the kids race. Go and volunteer, you get yourself a nice little credit. Well, one of the things that we did too at City Field was we had lunch buffet style at McFadden's. Yay! Not sure how it's gonna be for you guys though, and that was a stadium race, so whatever. Nonetheless, Spartan Race has 100% off for the Volunteers Race, but guess what? There was an asterisk. And the asterisk reads, $14, mandatory, insurance and taxes. Four hour shifts are good for half off credits. So, okay, so um, if I do four hours, I get half off, that's cool. But maybe if I can build that up, that's fine. As far as using previous credits towards a future race, that has yet to be seen. Maybe they already have it in their section. Not sure. Check it out for us and leave it in the comment below. Now, who do you have going for the Spartan Race World Championship? We got Ryan Atkins. We got Lipsy Webster. And then, of course, what do you guys think about the new volunteer rule? So they never have done away with it. Are there enough volunteers on the course? What are they feeding us on the sandwich? Hopefully not just some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Remember to subscribe and like this. This is Justin Manning with Metal Attic. Signing out over here. See you guys on the course. Shh, shh.